Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for June 28, 2016. And so this is a general reading for everyone watching. Um, and we're looking at the energies that surround this at this time. So it doesn't matter what sign you are. Um, these energies um, may be influencing each and every single one of us, more or less, in different ways. Okay, definitely. Um, so keep an open mind, as always, use your intuition and take away the messages that resonate, that make sense to you and that apply to your situation. Um, so we have three major arcana today. So that tells me that today is going to be a significant day. Today is going to be a big day in our lives. And for each of us, it's going to be, you know, it's going to have a different significance because it depends on each of us are where each of us are in um, our life at this point on our life's path what we're trying to accomplish what we're most focusing on at this time but it is a message that talks about coming full circle it is a message that talks about taking our power back um, and making some choices making some some changes and decisions in our lives in order to Pursue our happiness and what we know we deserve. And it's coming, okay? We're about to see results. We're about to see progress. We're about to see change and very positive change, okay? So the first card we have, this is the Justice card in this um, tarot deck. Um, they uh, switched Justice and Strength, okay? And so Justice is number 8 and Strength is 11. And um, that's the way it used to be in tarot. And so they kind of stuck to that traditional view. So this is the Justice card, okay? This is the Egyptian goddess Mott. And she is the goddess of justice, of truth, of order. And when she shows up, you know that you will be paid in the same coin. So you reap what you sow, you get what you give, in other words. Um, with this being in the first position, it represents the influence of the past in our current situation. And so it talks about a time in our lives when we've, we've had to say, you know what? Things are not working or I'm not happy or I'm not where I want to be, where I deserve to be in my life with the people that I deserve to have in my life. What is going on? What do I deserve? What do I want my life to be? What do I want myself to be? And then really weighing things out, okay? Doing pros and cons, looking at everyone in our lives in terms of um, are they making a positive contribution to my life uh, do they bring me joy do they bring me happiness do they bring me insights do they challenge me to grow or is it someone who's just pessimistic all the time who's just dragging me down all the time who is just holding me stuck in a place of darkness or, or pain or drama or or just unpleasantness who do i want to keep in my life who do i want to walk away from situations in my life what serves me what doesn't what is it that i deserve do I have that in my life? Do I have the opposite of that in my life? So what do I need to do to get to where I want to get to where I deserve to be in my life in terms of jobs, relationships, connections with people, relationship with myself, health, well-being, my, my personal projects, my goals, my spirituality. And so it, it talks about that time when we've had to get realistic, where we had to say, stop things are not working and I can't go on like this. I need to refocus. I need to rethink things and I need to think about things and people in my life in terms of do I deserve this? Is this what I deserve or is, it, is this just holding me back? Is this fair to me? Am I being fair to other people? Is my life in balance? Justice is all about balance. Is it that I'm only giving and never receiving? Is it that people always just expect things of me as opposed to asking me if I'm okay or, or offering to help me or to just, you know, be there for me? And things like that, okay? It talks about that time in our lives when we've had to make some decisions. We've had to weigh out things, people, situations in our lives, our views on ourselves and the world, and really look at what is not in balance in our lives. And therefore, it's completely thrown us off in a loop of negativity or obstacle or difficulty. And because we did that, we made some changes. We made some changes. We made some decisions. Some of them we just told ourselves about and others we told the world about. We walked away from people. We walked away from situations that did not serve us, that were negative in our lives, that were toxic. Um, and we really decided 
committed to the decision that whatever we do from that point on is going to be balanced and fair for ourselves and everyone else. And it will be what we deserve, okay? And because of that, the energy of today is the star, okay? This is the star. This is all about hope, happiness. This is about healing. This is about peace being restored. And you'll see that in this deck, these almost look like fairies that are coming together. But the main idea is the fact that these are, they're all the same, okay? So it could be like-minded people. So it could be that if we have made these changes and, and these decisions um, regarding people and situations in our lives, and maybe, yes, we committed to this, but there was always kind of a voice in the back of our head asking us, did we do the right thing? Or maybe we overreacted, or maybe we rushed ahead too quickly. Just small doubts niggling away at us. Today with the star card, everything is as it should be. And um, we are going to start new relationships today. We're going to start new partnerships today. We're going to start new jobs with better companies, with companies that share our vision, with companies that share our work ethics, companies that are not going to treat us unfairly, work us to the bone, to the bone and then not pay us or not pay us enough or anything like that, okay? Things are finally seeing harmony. There is health that is being restored. There is love that is coming back into our lives and new jobs, new prospects, new careers, new goals that we are accomplishing, okay, and planning ahead further. What else can we do? What else do we want to do? But with the star card today, this is really, it should be a day of peace, of serenity, of calm that comes from knowing that we are in the right place, we are on the right track, we're on the right path, um, we feel better, we feel more happy, we're, we feel more at peace, we see more harmony within us and around us as opposed to negativity or drama. It's a real shift, it's a real change, and it finally dawns on us today that we made this happen because we made the tough decisions and we made the tough changes to stand up for ourselves and to focus on what we deserve for once and bringing balance and fairness in our lives because we deserve what we deserve. And so today with the star card, I am seeing um, new people coming into our lives, okay? Whether it is in the form of new coworkers because you're starting a new job or new people in your class if you're at university or college or you're pursuing your education. New romantic partners potentially, definitely okay, because the star card is talking about a dream come true. So if that's what you've been hoping for, wishing for, and working towards, that is what may be happening for you today. There's definitely potential for that to happen today. The star card is also, for some of us, our financial situation is finally stabilizing. We are finally getting to a good place in terms of our money. And again, it hasn't been easy with the justice card. We've had to cut some losses. We had to uh, walk away from some things that maybe were bringing us financial security, but misery in terms of emotions and so on and so forth, okay? And we really had to walk away from that. And we were always potentially questioning whether we did the right thing or not. And today we see that, yes, we did the right thing. We did because we can have inner peace and happiness as well as financial security and we're seeing that today okay so that's just beautiful beautiful energy the star card is like i say a dream come true and again it's a major arcana card so it's almost like your prayers are being answered your questions to your angels and your spirit guides in the universe are being answered today if you've been wondering if you've made the right choice if you've made the right decision when you stood up for yourself and focused on what is fair and what you deserve in your life Today they're answering you and it's a big yes and rewards that come with it, okay? And like I say, in the, f in the form of inner peace, harmony, health and well-being, new love, new jobs, new partnerships, new connections all around. And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with, we have Kali back again, okay? We have the death card. And she's not scary. She's the opposite of scary, okay? I know some people are afraid to see the death card, but it's actually really positive energy okay and it's important that you understand that 
she represents change and transformation. She represents cutting away the past, letting go of the past completely, becoming a new person or realizing that we are a new person, doing things differently, better. Okay, the death card shows up when we've been struggling with something and trying different things, but it's just not working and we were not happy. And so we decide to make some changes. And so you're just at the beginning of the process and you don't know how it's going to go. But when you see the death card, it means, yes, you did the right thing. Yes, you made the right choices. Keep, do keep doing what you're doing because you're heading into a place of complete transformation. And this transformation is going to be a lot better for you. Definitely positive. Definitely moving forward. Definitely growing as a person. Okay? Becoming happier, more confident, and moving into a place where your life is what you want it to be, okay? If you have been struggling with difficulty, obstacle, drama after drama, the death card shows up to tell you that it's the end of that. It's the end of that. And with the star card in here, it's what you've been hoping for and wishing for for a very long time. And you've been working on this for a very long time. And this is your reward. It's telling you, you did it. You did it. Okay? You're finally on the other side of things. You're finally, you finally crossed that bridge. And now you're in a much better, much, much better place for yourself. And definitely continuing on the path towards your happiness and what you make of your world. So it's very, very positive energy. It represents the end of the old way. And clearly the old way wasn't working because otherwise we wouldn't have had to make those difficult decisions. So it's the end of that. And new beginnings. And these new beginnings can be whatever you want them to be. So keep doing what you're doing. So the guidance card we have for today, we have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. Okay? And it's coming for a full circle in terms of our connections, our relationships, the people we have in our lives. We're coming for full circle. And some of them have served their purpose. Some of them have taught us the lessons that we needed to learn. Therefore, we can let go now. It's okay for them to walk away from our lives or for us to walk away from them. Because we know better now. We know differently. This is also reminding us that we are never alone. And if we feel alone, then we just need to cultivate a, a better relationship with ourselves. We need to cultivate our sense of value, our sense of self-worth, to understand ourselves more, to love and respect ourselves more. And by doing that, we will then start to attract the right kind of people to our lives. No more toxic relationships, no more toxic connections with other people. And this is also telling you that there's a difference between solitude and loneliness. If we have had to be on our own for a while to clear our head and to start things fresh, then that was our choice and it was the right choice because as a result, we have the star in our present energy, in our present day energy, where we see the healing that was supposed to come from that time alone and the revelations and the happiness and the harmony that comes as a result. And with this card, it's also again telling us that we're about to see new people enter our lives. We're about to form new connections. We're about to start talking to people that are like-minded. Okay, these people are here to help us, to support us, to understand us as much as we understand them. Okay, there's a sense of reciprocity that is coming into our lives right now, which is all about the energy of the Justice card. Fair and balance. We give and receive. And the right people are about to enter our lives right now. Because we've made all these changes and we've, because we've taken that time to ourselves to figure out what we want and figure out what we deserve and then acted upon it. Okay, we're about to get our answer. We're about to get our wish. We're about to get that dream come true in terms of seeing change, positive change, complete change. No more going back. No more one step forward, three steps back. Just moving forward, releasing everything that has been holding us back, releasing difficulty, releasing pain, releasing drama, and embracing the new us. Because we are a new person, okay, with the star card. We are a new person. We feel better about ourselves. We feel more confident. We feel more beautiful. We feel more capable. 
And we are. We are just realizing that. And as a result, our world is about to change. And that's beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay? So with her showing up, with Kali showing up in the same position two days in a row, is definitely telling me keep doing what, we, what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're heading towards that place of change and transformation. You're going to get there very soon. So keep on this path. And remember, you're never alone. You don't have to do anything alone. If you feel you need to ask someone for help or guidance or just to hear you out, then go ahead and do that. Okay, you have supportive people around you with the star card. There are people there or they're about to enter your life to give you that final boost of energy to get you through the finish line. Okay? And this is also telling you to focus on your spirituality today. You're going to draw a lot of strength from that. Your angels are there for you to talk to them, to ask them for guidance, ask them for advice, after for, ask them for help, for direction. Ask your spirit guides for direction. Ask the universe for signs, okay, what you should be doing if you're on the right path. And then pay attention, okay? Ask and then receive the guidance they're giving you, the signs that they're going to show you. To prove to you that you're never alone. To prove to you that they're always there with you. All you have to do is ask them to, to, to help you with something and they will. Okay, so that's the message that we have for today. And it's a really beautiful message. And I do hope it makes sense. I hope it resonates um, and that it helps you. Okay, and uh, let me know what you think. I hope that we all have an absolutely beautiful day. And thank you for being here with me. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.